So there we saw the transition from the left panel through the middle panel to the right panel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 29, Runs. In today's stream, we set out to further work on our Shadow Triptych score. We double-checked some runs in there, made some minor edits. We wanted to push it all together, make it go faster, and we wanted to start adding a backbone with functional notes, the roots, the modes, the neutrals, and the urges, and other various ideas. So we did that. You can see here, this is the scale coming up. This is the ramp coming up. Here's the ramp coming down. And there are no more spaces between those figures anymore. You can compare that with the original shadow triptych that looked like this. where we had a 3 16th note space between everything. And it sounded cool. But it sounded, this we felt sounded cooler. Then the other thing we did was we added a whole backbone line. We're going to call it a backbone. And the backbone is picking out the D flats as the root, the D, which is the mode, and the F, which is the neutral. So we went up here and just pick out the functional notes, the, D, the, the roots, the modes, and the neutrals. And then in the case of the middle scale, the C was the root, and the, it had no modes, but it also had a neutral and it had an urge note. So we composed ourselves a little backbone. Yeah, we added a backbone. And we, what we realized is that adding the backbone, adding the backbone here, emphasizing roots, modes, neutrals, urges, gives us a melody. And then by taking out all the spaces and using the rolls and hops of various lengths, we got a syncopation to go with that melody. So that was pretty cool. And then we had a couple folks asking us to play things. And we played two selections from the last stream, but uh, this one, when we were playing it, it suddenly reminded us, I'll show you here, watch how this lyric uh, brightness varies. And it's going, it's, it's varying based on the keynote, bing, 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 bing. And some people said they felt that was distracting. And we were looking at this and thought, what if it just went bring, bring, bring. What if the what if the lyric just kind of lit up on the pulse instead of on the actual melody? So we decided to try adding a pulse line down here, which we did. And the pulse by itself is very boring. It sounds like this. However, you start playing it against the backbone. Okay, hide hide that for a minute. So it's giving us an extra level of syncopation. And then when you play that against the actual roll that's going on, now you've got a lot going on and it's kind of much more uh, interesting to our ears and brain, we feel. Then we went ahead and we re-exported all that down to our working animation. We can show you that here real quick in our working animation source files here, here. And um, so we had the all, the pulse, and the new backbone, and the uncommon major, and common minor, and the common, and a bunch of other stuff we haven't used yet. And we ended up going back to our, we also tuned the coloring here. We said that we felt like the back panel and the back star field just look better in a kind of a black on on a gray and and they don't distract too much however we went ahead and snuck the pulse in to the back star field and you'll have to it's very subtle to look at that you'll see the star field kind of pause and jump 
So it's, it ends up being a very subtle visual effect that probably you'll miss because when you play it behind all this where these things are just going gangbusters nevertheless it's there in the background and you can hear it because we're letting it play through we then noticed or somewhere in there we noticed if you look at the left hand panel here which starts out as a magenta color And it has something we're calling a rainbow effect. It honest to goodness looks like there's three colors on their screen at the same time. And we double checked and we double checked and there isn't. There's only one color at a time. And we had to really prove it here with this. Okay, this is to show that even though each individual frame up here in the top left is A what? separate color. Thank you. When you play it quickly, and then we'll turn off the sound, it looks like there are all three colors are showing at the same time. Yep. You saw it here, folks. So we thought that was pretty awesome. And so we recorded that on our results and insights and whatnot as um, fast sixteenths in an animation give the rainbow effect, colors jump faster than our eyes can track, and we think it's kind of like the echo effect in our aural uh, compositions, and then we actually did a little bit of actually checking it, you know, at 60 frames per second is blah, 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 seconds per frame, and then we're actually <laughs> It's jumping, it's jumping those notes. Um, each, each separate note is getting seven and a half frames, but our eyes can only keep track of uh, less than that. So it, we're, we're, there's an overlay effect. There's a visual overlay effect is what's happening there. Here we're gonna type that in, visual overlay. So now we have visual overlay effect to add. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So we made the demo movie to show how that worked. And then we went ahead and redid the whole movie here using the um, backbone, no spaces, and pulse for our uncommon minor on the left, our uncommon major on the right, and our common in the middle. And again, the pulse driving the back star field. So uh, anyway, we'll, we'll be We'll post that movie so you can look at the whole thing if you want without any lag. What we're going to do now is we'll play the composition since the lag doesn't mess with us so much here. And then, then we'll, that'll take us out. So here we go. So there. So our ideas for next time are, and we do have one, one thing we could do, look at making a, a continuous flying annotation score art video 
with the new score completed. And that would look like something like this. We would go up to here and say go to continuous view. We would um, do this, we do this. We kind of tested this a little bit before we did other ideas. We didn't even have the piano showing because that would be kind of cool. We should have probably done this in the beginning, but however, we didn't think of it. So here it goes. So that's an idea for next time. And our friend and fav perennial favorite, perennial, to be determined. Who knows what else we'll come up with. Today it was so cool to add the pulse. And again, that kind of came shout outs to Eric Shin and Sanze uh, getting new ideas from their comments and requests. We always enjoy doing that. And we look forward to seeing you in our next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>